Conjugating verbs is a painful task. Keeping track of cases is a lot to ask. Russian grammar may not be any fun, but Ruskiad gets a job done. This is Ruskiad. The topic for discussion in this lesson is cases, and we will also talk some about pronouns. By way of review, some Russian pronouns that you are already familiar with from the previous units include Ya, Ana, On, Muy, Yevo, Yeo, Vas, and Nas. So enough already about pronouns. There are six cases that you need to be aware of in Russian. And these cases are nominative, accusative, prepositional, genitive, dative, and instrumental. And now for some examples. We will take a quick look at some Russian words for I and me. Nominative is ya. Accusative is menya. Prepositional is menya. Genitive is menya. Dative is menya. And instrumental is menoi. We will not worry about the exact definition for each of these cases at this time, but we will take a look at some Russian phrases containing the Russian words for I and me. Menya ochin nravitsya sneg means I like to snow very much. Ya hachu pit means I want drink or I am thirsty. Umenya kiniga means Buy me book or I have a book. Pazvani mnie po telefono means call me on the telephone. Gavarite mnie means speak to me. And sabaka igrayet semenoi means the dog plays with me. The five reviewers for this lesson include minya, which means me, sneg, which means snow, nravitsya, which means to please. Igrats, which means to play, and sabaka, which means dog, of course. And this is Ruski Asenyat from lesson number two on Russian grammar. Das vidon ya. Ruski gets a job done.